Okay, here we are. Morning of day nine, the final day of my trip. Um, I'm in Trinidad, Colorado. Uh, the plan for today is to head back to Weatherford, Oklahoma. Uh, it's my longest day by about an hour and a half. It'll be about a seven hour ride. Um, we're about 12 miles north of New Mexico, but uh, if I remember right, that state sign is gonna be on the overpass, so I'll just try to get some video as I go underneath it, but uh, it's not gonna be a straight shot. I rode this route last year whenever uh, my buddy and I rode to Colorado Springs, so I'm gonna kinda change it up a little bit, and if you look at it on a map, it's not gonna make any sense. Um, we're gonna go down through New Mexico, uh, up into the Oklahoma Panhandle, and then drop back across the Texas Panhandle and into uh, Western Oklahoma. The only reason I'm doing that is because uh, I already have some pictures with a New Mexico sign and a Texas sign. I just want some pictures with some different signs. So that's pretty much what I plan on doing today. Um, it's shortly after seven. Oh, it's not even seven. 20 till seven, it's a little bit brisk. Got the jacket liner in, gonna go throw the, the warmer gloves on and uh, I'll be on the road here in just a minute. Okay, I made it to Clayton, New Mexico. Stopped off here for just a second, clean off my visor. Uh, now's whenever uh, the trip starts to not make sense, unless uh, you want to take some pictures at some signs. So uh, we're gonna angle back uh, up northwest at this point to uh, toward the Oklahoma Panhandle. come out of the way for but that's a pretty good shot actually do it selfie style like a teenage girl goodness how do you do it whenever it's right next to you okay I just stopped in Boise City Oklahoma um, I got to thinking maybe I wasn't very clear about that New Mexico uh, sign we were at. That's actually the tip of the Oklahoma Panhandle in New Mexico. So uh, we're fixing to drop south out of the Oklahoma Panhandle and into the Texas Panhandle. Uh, it looks like we're about 22 miles away from Texas. So uh, the next stop will be the Texas State sign. Okay, I made it to this Texas sign right here. This one's pretty cool, not your typical sign. Okay, so I just came like a mile down the road from that little uh, stone sign and found this sign. So I'm gonna stop and get me another one here. There we go. Okay, I made it into Pampa, uh, grabbed a little something to eat, got a Powerade. Uh, the last nine days is kind of starting to catch up with me. My butt is so numb, no matter which position I try to get to, but uh, I'm about two hours and 18 minutes from home, so uh, we're getting pretty close. Uh, the heat has picked up too. I don't know if you can hear it, but the wind is blowing like crazy. Welcome to Texas Panhandle in Oklahoma.
here it is. This is where I'm ending the video. This is Lucille's Roadhouse, the original. I took the information off of that uh, plaque over there and I'll post a picture of it if anybody's interested. It's a place I like to come a few miles from the house, take pictures. Couldn't think of a better spot to end it than right here. In fact, go ahead and snap one right now. Nine days, I don't know how many states. Add them up. Let's check the ending mileage for the trip. 2,907.9 miles over the last nine days. What an awesome experience. I really am glad I did it on this motorcycle. It's not ideal, but man, what a great experience.